Chooch here back again, and today we're in the Nether Labs. Um, you can see the geothermal facility that we was built this week, as well as the crafting block over or the the whatever kind of block you want to call it, um, machine blocks. There's a bunch of machines here using teleport pipes. Pigmen are mad, man. They are upset. They're standing out here, all mad at me because of it. every time they come inside, I just kill the shit right out of them, right out of them. Anyway, well, we have a we got our geothermal and we got our machine block. Um, next thing we need is a sorting facility, and because we already have an IC2 sorting facility, what we'll want to use is a red power, just so we can, you know, get a good feel, good grasp around all the, the possible things that we can do in Tekkit, which is a lot of stuff. But uh, the red power is a little more complicated, but the first thing it needs is red power to power the red power sorting machines. Um, so what we're going to need to do, and uh, you might say, chooch, what the hell, man? We can't get red power in the nether. You can't have solar panels. You can't place water. There's no way to do it. Well, that's not true. There is a way to do it, and uh, it's kind of a peculiar way, but it's definitely a way. Now, what you can do is uh, you can craft, using UU Matter, you can make water stills. Now, UU Matter, right here and right here, will make a water still. And uh, you can see it on here. I've already placed four thermopiles. And uh, I just got done doing this, so we're just collecting energy, and we're almost there. We'll start storing it in no time. And uh, we're going to make two more of them, and I'll show you how it's done and uh, and what exactly you need to do. Now, to make a thermopile, you'll need a water bucket, or a lava bucket. You'll need some blue alloy wire, and you'll need the thermopile itself, and you'll need a source of water. Now, uh, if you're doing that in the real world, it's not that big of a deal, because uh, it's really not that hard to just go get a bucket of water from the ocean or what have you and, uh, and place it. But uh, if you're doing it in the nether, now it gets a little more challenging. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to... Pew! Oh, do I have my pickaxe? This sure will work as one. We're going to dig these up, and because I want to place my next thermophile, or thermopile, excuse me, right here, thermophile, sounds like I'm saying pedophile, and uh, and we'll dig this down an extra one because uh, I do want to change how it looks to uh, to the brick, so so it all looks the same, you know. And we'll need to dig out this wall here too because you'll be able to see it. Okay, and uh, let's replace this and uh, put this down here and one right there. And uh, this is what you'll need to build. You'll need to build this exact fit. Um, well, this is the way I've always done it. I don't think there's another way you can do it. Um, so, just like this, and uh, and I'll show you how you do it. Now, we're going to run them off the back, up here, and into this one right here. And uh, we're still going to collect in there. I might add another. I built two bat boxes, but I'm not sure if I'm going to collect. Now, you will need to add in this little boop. Got a little wild there. You will need to add in this little piece that hovers above the ground, just like that. Actually, I'm a liar. We'll need to keep that there for a second, because we need to add the lava in first. Now, let's add our lava in. One there, one there, and uh, next we need to put the thermopile on top of the lava, which is why you need that brick there. Now, I don't. Does that vent actually do? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um. Kill this, and uh, we'll kill this. Okay. There we go. And uh, next, we will take our water stills. And uh, this, the reason this needs to be elevated like this is because um, thermopile use geothermal energy, or lava energy, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they, it uses the law of entropy to collect energy. Now, it's going to the water and the lava. The water is going to keep the thermopile cool, and the lava is going to keep it hot. And when two hot surfaces, and a hot surface and a cold surface connect, they release a chaotic amount of energy, which entropy, through the law of entropy, mind you, not actual entropy, um, the process of entropic decay, um, and they create energy. And uh, this, this, and this would harvest the energy from uh, mechanical to electrical energy that we can use to power our sorting facility. So here we go. We got these bricks here, and the reason these bricks are up like this is because we need a way to get the blue alloy wire over here without screwing up our water source. So, because uh, we do need water on all four sides, or it will not work correctly. In fact, it won't work at all. It might work like a tiny bit. Like when I say a tiny, what the hell?
There we go. That was just a glitch. Okay, it's all set up, and there you go. And uh, if you if you build a voltmeter, which is right here, you can check, and it is working. It's making two amps. It's actually not making that much. It's just that's how much is getting collected because there's so many wires going everywhere. But uh, whatever. Um, this probably isn't the most efficient way to do it, but I did it in a limited amount of space, and as you can see, we're collecting plenty of energy, almost as the max you can collect, and uh, and we can start storing that right away. So uh, for for this job, you'll need the thermal pile itself. You'll need blue alloy wire. You'll need whatever you're building your surfaces out of. You'll need a bat box, and you'll need a lava and a water source, and that's that's all you need. And they're pretty simple. They work pretty well. Pretty much, they're better than solar panels because they work all day and all night and generate less energy but how much red power energy do you really need I mean come on um, anyway I've been Chooch this has been how to build a thermopile and actually I'm a liar I'm not gonna end the video yet I'm gonna put this other bat box here and uh, I'm gonna store two different types two different power sources and we'll store these um, let's change this here real quick we'll kill this go like that and there we go. So now these three are going in here, and these three are going in here. Let's see how that's working. Okay, it's working well. So uh, that'll be a little bit better, so we don't have so much energy going everywhere, and it's a little more efficient. So um, anyway, I've been Chooch. This has been How to Build a Thermopile in TechIt, and uh, we're going to use this to power our sorting facility and any other red power machines that we need to build. I can't really think of any at the time, but I'm sure I will find something to use it on. So, uh... We'll catch you next time where we build our red power sorter. Sorry to skip the the nuclear reactor, but uh, but I started building this beautiful Nether Labs, and uh, and so I needed I needed the power so I could get the quarries running, so I could build the sorting facility. Uh, it's been it's been one big awesome headache. I've actually had quite a bit of fun building this. I've never built a facility in the other before, but uh, uh, I can, the pigmen drive me nuts because they're always spawning here. It's terrible. Anyway, I've been Chooch, this has been Tekkit, and, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for